everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing some jewelry making. We're gonna be doing some jewelry that is inspired by Pinterest. And yes, I've done this video before my channel. This is part three of this series that I've just randomly created. So I hope that you enjoy these three Pinterest inspired jewelry pieces that I'm gonna make today. It's perfect time because the holidays are just around the corner. So I'm excited to make some and also give them to my friends and family this year. So let's just begin and start the jewelry making. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna make are some earrings and they're gonna be inspired by this pin right here. And I actually have the butterfly charms to make these. So I'm actually gonna make exactly this pin right here and make a replica of it. And I'm also gonna be creating some other earrings because I purchased some other charms off Etsy. So we're gonna make a whole bunch of cute little earrings for everyone, all my friends, all my family. So I'm excited for this one. This one's really, really quick. It takes like 30 seconds per set of earrings so you can make a whole bunch for pretty much everyone in your family well, everyone that likes earrings and wears earrings you can make them for so for the supplies for these earrings you're going to need some earring hoops or you can have some earring hooks whichever you prefer you're going to need some charms you only need two technically and you're going to need some pliers so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the earring hoop and we're going to open up the little circle thing at the bottom you're just going to take your pliers and you're just going to twist it open just a tad not very much you just want to have enough open that you can slide the charm on so it looks like that and then what you're going to do is take your charm and you're just going to slide it on once you have it slid on the right way you're just going to close that little hook back up so it's not poking out and it looks nice and pretty and there you go you have your earrings i went ahead and made a whole bunch of different variations of these earrings so you can really use any charm you want i'm just using the butterfly one that you saw in the pinterest pin at the beginning so i wanted to recreate those exactly and then these are all the ones that i created i think they turned out really well So for our next one, we'll be creating another very, very simple piece. We're going to be making a necklace this time. We're going to be making something similar to this pearl necklace right here. And we're also going to be using the charms that we use for the earrings. So I'm going to be using one charm for this, and I'm also going to be using some pearls similar to this. And we're going to get a nice little necklace. You can make it any length you want. I'm going to make it a little bit longer just so I can wear a nice choker with it. But in the end, we're going to end up with something similar to this. So for our supplies, we are gonna need one charm exactly. You don't need all these. You're gonna need some beading string. You can have the wire or the string. You're gonna need some pearl beads. You're gonna need some jump rings. And you're also gonna need some crimp beads and a clasp. Oh yeah, and you also need pliers. So the first thing I did was I cut my string first and I would recommend making it extra long just because it's so much easier working with like an extra long string of wire than a shorter string. So make it longer than you think you need it. After that, I just started stringing the beads. I just kept going until I kind of got to a length that I was happy with. I didn't really know how long I wanted it until I just tried it out. Next, I finished the necklace, which I don't recommend. I recommend putting the actual charm on first, but you can learn from my mistake. So the thing I did was I opened up the jump ring and then I attached it to a bigger jump ring just so the clasp, you know, it's a little easier to do, attach the clasp to the other side. After that, I put the crimp bead on, which I didn't show, and then I put the jump ring on after, and then I looped the string back through the crimp bead, and then after that, I just crimped the bead, like so, as you watch me. I know I'm not very good at explaining this, so hopefully my visuals are a little bit better. And then after that, I just cut it and then the excess wire, I just fed right back through the beads so you couldn't see it. So next, I did the exact same thing, except I had a class instead of the bigger jump ring. And I did the exact same steps on the other side, except I had to pull through the wire to make it tight on the end before I was able to trim it. Another side, I was able to make it loose and then move the beads forward. But this side, you had to feed the wire through all the beads before you can go and crimp that last bead, the crimp bead, and actually finish the necklace. So. There we go, we're done the necklace, almost. We gotta add the charm now because I forgot that. So to add the charm after the fact, all I did was take a jump ring, I opened it up and then I looped on the charm and then I closed it back up. It's pretty simple, it's just probably easier if you just put the charm on before you finish the necklace. I 
And for our last one, we're recreating something similar to this pin right here. This one is also very, very simple. It only is a little time consuming because you do have to string a lot of beads and do a little pattern, but it doesn't take that long. So I'm gonna show you step by step on how I create something similar to this. I think it's called a daisy chain, the beading. I'm not too familiar, but I'll also link down below the blog where I learned this from. So you can go check that out if you want more additional instructions in case I'm not too clear, but other than that, let's just, let's just get into the last necklace. For our last necklace, the supplies we need are some six over zero beads. We need some 11 over zero beads. We're gonna need some beading string. We are gonna need some jump rings. We're gonna need a clasp and we are gonna need the pliers. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a generous piece of string and we're gonna grab our 11 over zero beads if you wanna use that size. It doesn't really matter what size of beads you use for this particular part of it. And then you're gonna wanna tie a knot at the end. Don't forget to tie a knot at the end just cause you don't want the beads falling off. So yeah, after I did that, I just put a whole bunch of the beads on and I just started creating the pattern. I didn't really count. I just kinda fed them on until I was happy. After that, you're gonna use the six over zero beads and this is the beads you're gonna use to make the flower. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put five of the color petals on and then one color of the white one and then you're gonna take the string, feed it through the bottom one and pull it all the way through so it goes tight just so it looks like that one, the flower thing on the left, the kind of messed up flower one. And then you're gonna put three more of the petal color beads, so in my case, the blue beads on to the string. And then after you're done that, you're gonna wire through or take your string and you're gonna wire it through the bead that's next to the white bead to the left of it. And you can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully you can, because my instructions are terrible. And you're gonna pull it tight. After that, you're done. That's how you make the little flower thing. I'll have more pictures on my blog of how to do this, I guess, because I don't know that my instructions are very good. So I'll have pictures and more in depth about it just because I don't know how good my instructions are, like I said. And then once I was done making the whole necklace, I went and I finished it off pretty similar to the last time, except this time, instead of using a crimp bead, I am just tying a knot to the actual clasp. I don't know if that's a lazy way or the smart way. You can do this and just add a little bit of glue, like a little bit of super glue, and it'll be just a little bit more sturdier so it doesn't come undone. I've seen a lot of people just use a little bit of glue. At the end, just after you've tied the knot, just put a little dab of glue there and it should stay there and never come undone. I personally don't use the glue and I haven't had a problem, but do at your own risk. I recommend using glue, but you don't have to. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Well anyways, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this Pinterest inspiration inspired jewelry making video. I really enjoyed it and I really like doing this series. So if you wanna see more videos of me creating Pinterest inspired jewelry, let me know down below in the comments to let me know that you wanna see more. But again, that's it. So if you do make any of these creations, be sure to tag me on Instagram, Angela Phipps, so I can see all of your jewelry that you are making. And yeah, let me know down below which item was your favorite today or which piece of jewelry was your favorite or which one you might attempt. So. Again, I keep saying that's it, and then I keep going on, but finally, that is it. So everyone, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. So high, trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground.